Sulfur cycle. You know, uh, I haven't really studied that much about it. What do you know about the sulfur cycle? Nothing. The sulfur cycle? Yeah. It, it's, it's one of the elements. The sulfur cycle. <laughs> um, a chemical? Is, is it green? So, sulfur came onto the earth when the Big Bang happened. And then, <laughs> the, it went through the, everything. And it doesn't... It doesn't die. Ah! Let's say it. Let's see. It goes through the earth. The organisms <laughs> keep going, and. How does sulfur move from the environment to living things and back? Sulfuric acid, H2SO4, is absorbed into the earth after falling from the atmosphere in the form of acid rain, or simply dropping down to the earth in a dry form. Living things then eat plants that have absorbed sulfur, die and decay, becoming part of the underground sediment. Most sulfur is underground in the sediment and an organic sulfur reservoir. Therefore, sulfur is also a major part of fossil fuels. Refined fossil fuels made ready for human use are large inorganic sulfur reservoir. When fossil fuels are consumed, sulfur is released back into the atmosphere that is the most significant input of sulfur back into the atmosphere. Another significant contributor is volcanic eruptions. When volcanoes erupt, they release massive amounts of sulfur into the air which enters the atmosphere. The sulfur stored in a volcano before it erupts is a large organic reservoir of sulfur. Sulfur also enters the atmosphere from dust storms, sea spray, and forest Yes? Um, what are the chemical reactions that take place in the atmosphere that are involved with the sulfur cycle? When sulfur enters the atmosphere, hydrogen sulfide reacts to oxygen. The reaction forms sulfur oxides. Sulfur oxides react with the water in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid, a large organic reservoir of it, which falls back down to the earth. Hey, lady, how are humans involved in the sulfur cycle? Humans are the main contributor to the sulfur cycle. The cycle would still take place without humans, but to a much lesser scale. Human use of fossil fuels is a major contributor to the atmosphere's sulfur content. Industry and automobiles emit sulfur on a daily basis and account for the majority of the evaporated sulfur. Cutting down on fuel emissions is a method that humans could use to cut down on sulfur use. Uh, you mentioned rain earlier. How is that related to the sulfur cycle? Excellent question. Acid rain is when the deposition of sulfur and nitrogen oxides, both dry and wet, have higher than normal acidity levels, which causes the deposition to have harmful effects on the air. Julia! Effects on the environment that it falls on particularly water sources. We brought in an expert, Miss Carol, to answer some questions about acid rain. Um, what kind of harmful effects result from acid rain? Okay, so when acid rain or acidic deposition falls, so there can be acid snow, there can be dry acidic deposition. Um, when it falls, uh, it makes, it changes the pH balance of soils and waters, 
and a lot of fish and other organisms can only live within a certain pH range. So when lakes get too acidic, lots of fish die. And when soils get too acidic, lots of critters that live in those soils die. So that's the number one biggest concern from acid rain. Acid rain can also impact um, trees because if the soil is too acidic, so certain trees, especially in the Northeast where acid rain is a big problem, the soil is too acidic and uh, that means that certain plants and trees can't grow in that acid of soil so they die off. And when they die off, they eliminate the habitat for the animals who rely on those trees and plants to live. Um, is acid rain a problem that most people in the world encounter on a daily basis or is it more a rare occurrence? It's a daily, everyday uh, issue. It's a cumulative issue um, and it's not everywhere in the world. It's everywhere that is near industrial process that puts sulfur into the air. Um, have any steps been taken to prevent acid rain in the U.S.? And if steps have been taken, have they had any effect? Yes, it's one of the biggest environmental success stories to date. Globally, it hasn't gotten any better in terms of the amount of sulfur going into the atmosphere, but in developed countries... It's Something's really gotten a lot better. So guys, what did you learn today in Ames class? Hey guys, there's some rappers outside rapping about the sulfur cycle. You should totally check it out. Tell me what it says. So this is a story all about how the cycle circles round and round. I'd like to take a minute to sit right there and tell you what happens up over here. Acid rain is formed, rains down on the plants and the animals. Animals eat and poison sulfur, not good. They die and their bones become fossil fuel. When a couple of guys who are up to no good, using fossil fuels and polluting the hood. I burned a little oil and Carol got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle and Wellesley. I begged and pleaded with her the other day, but she packed up my suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and gave me my ticket. I put on one on and said, might as well kick it. So the sulfur cycle is affected by humans, so we gotta stop burning these fuel ends, help the environment, keep it clean to stop putting sulfur in the air.